Welcome to Japanese 101. Today I'm gonna introduce how to say excuse me in Japanese. When you enter or leave the room, or to let the person know before you are taking actions, you say, means excuse me. For example, at the restaurant, the waiter or waitress may say "失礼します" before taking your dishes that you are done. "失礼します." But in a casual situation or between friends, we can just say "じゃあまた." "じゃあまた" means "well, see you again." Or simply, you can just say. Goodbye, sayonara, sayonara. The next one I'm gonna introduce how to say body parts in Japanese. Head, atama, atama. Shoulders, kata, kata. Knees, Iza, Iza, Face, Kao, Kao, Eyes, Me, Me, Ears, Mimi, Mimi, Nose, Hana, Hana, Mouth. Kuchi, kuchi, tooth, ha, ha, tang, shita, shita, stomach, onaka, onaka, legs or toes, ashi, ashi. You may notice the words in orange are some of the famous kids song. Do you recognize? This is the song Head, Shoulder, Knees and the Toes. So you can sing a song in the Japanese version Head, Shoulders, Knees and the Toes. Atama kata hiza ashi hiza ashi Atama kata hiza ashi hiza ashi Me to mimi to hana to kuchi Atama kata hiza ashi hiza ashi So I said me to mimi to hana to kuchi To means end So please practice atama kata hiza ashi Japanese version of head, shoulder, knees, and the toes. Next, we're gonna practice how to say body parts and adjectives in Japanese. You already know those words head, atama, toes, ashi, nose, hana, shoulders, kata, eyes, me, mouth, kuchi, knees, hiza, ears, mimi, hands, te. The next bottom box are Japanese adjectives. Number one, big, oki, oki. Number two, small, chisai, chisai. Number three, tall, takai, takai. Number four, short, ikui, ikui. Number five, long. Nagai, nagai. Six, short. Nijikai, nijikai. Seven, strong. Tsuyoi, tsuyoi. Eight, weak. Yowai, yowai. Nine, beautiful. Kire, kire. Ten, ugly. Mimikui, mimikui. Eleven, pretty. Kawaii. Kawaii, 12, cool, kakkoi, 
have for you. So let's practice with a sentence. How do you say a big head? A big head. Can you find the word? A big head in Japanese is Oki Atama. Oki Atama. So like English, Japanese adjective comes before the noun. Oki is adjective. Atama is noun. How about this sentence? A head is big. Talking about a big head but in a different sentence structure. A head is big. How do you say this? Atama wa okii desu. Atama wa okii desu. A head, atama, is a subject. After subject, you add wa, particle wa, after the subject. And then adjective comes afterward, oki. And you can add death at the end of the sentence in a formal situation. Or you can just simply say atama wa oki. A head is big. Thank you very much. Arigato.